Hi everyone, it's Holly Schultz from babygizmo.com. Now our week long test drive with the 2013 Chevy Traverse is almost up. So before they come get the car this morning, I wanted to do a good, bad, and the ugly for our family with the Traverse. So let me show you the 2013 Chevy Traverse. Now let's start with coolness factor. Now I'm not the coolest mom on the block by any means, but the Traverse, I guess it's pretty cool to drive. It's a crossover. It's, it's a cross between a car and an SUV. What makes it different than a minivan? Not a whole lot. You just don't get the sliding doors. I mean, seriously, that's it. It's everything you would, you know, look for in a minivan, except you've got regular doors because some people need that warm and fuzzy feeling that they have an SUV and those doors give them that warm and fuzzy feeling. So um, not much different than a minivan. So it depends on how cool you think a minivan is to how cool you think the Traverse will be. Now we've put the Traverse through the works this week. We have taken it on a road trip. We've taken it in the city. We've taken it on the highway at 85. I mean, the speed limit, 65 miles per hour at all times. <laughs> but you know what I like? that When you do have it on the highway, there's not a lot of road noise in the vehicle. So I can still, the kids can still hear the DVD. I can hear the radio. Not a lot of road noise, and that's important to me. So um, I like that factor. I like everything on the dash, how it's set up for the driver. I think it's really cool looking, really streamlined. Like I said in my first video, I'm glad there's no orange wood grain. It's kind of a black, so it's, it makes it a little extra cooler for us moms that are driving carpool. <laughs> um, what I do like, we have the one with the navigation and the DVD. And what is cool is when the car is in park, the DVD shows up on my navigation screen. So let's say I'm waiting in line at carpool and it could be like 10, 20 minutes. I can watch a DVD up here in the front seat. Now, as soon as I put the car in drive, it goes away because obviously they don't want the driver distracted, but I think that's kind of a fun feature if you're sitting somewhere and you wanna watch with the kids. I also like the storage up here. There's two cup holders. There is a huge um, space, but we're gonna get to storage in a minute. Otherwise, Love how it drives. It's very, very smooth. I don't have a lot of blind spots. Oh, and you know what one cool feature is? On the side mirrors, there is a blind spot indicator light. So if somebody is right next to you on either side, depending on what side, a little light um, glows to let you know, hey, there's somebody there in case you didn't see them. I think that's a really cool feature and I don't have that on my current car. So I like that one. Otherwise, I like everything. All of my radio um, buttons are on my steering wheel so I don't even have to reach over. So it has a really, really good drive for the driver. Okay, now the back seat. I do think it's a roomy back seat. It's, I've put one car seat in the captain's chair over here. The two older kids that are six and eight, they have the third row. They have their car seats back there and there is still room for a small person to sit in between the car seats. So it is a roomy third row. Um, I do like the fact that there is, it's a spacious car. Um, car seats were very easy to install in the captain's chairs. I do have a main problem with the third row with car seats and I did a whole video on that and the problem is they don't have top tethers for each position in the third row and that's a deal breaker for me so um, that might be the reason I don't get a traverse is because I have a convertible forward facing car seat that I want to put in that third row for my six-year-old okay so if I were to put a convertible forward facing car seat in the third row this is the position it would go in now if a child was in it, their legs would be here. How would anybody else be able to get in these side positions? I guess they would have to go in first, but it's ridiculous. And one other deal breaker, and I know this is very common on cars with the third row, but there is no latch anchors in the third row. That, <laughs> I love latch. and So I need latch in my third row, and this one doesn't have it. I need top tethers in my third row in all positions. This one doesn't have it. So you don't have car seats that you need to install back here. It's actually a very roomy third row. I can fit back here comfortably. I've got room for my legs. I'm not squishing this person here. As for storage in the trunk, you do have this much room if the third row is up. You also have this space under here to put additional items. Obviously flat groceries or something like that would fit, but it's not that deep, but you do have that. Now I'm gonna show you what kind of stroller I can fit in the trunk. And here is, I didn't show you this feature, but I love this feature. From the key remote, it has an automatic lift gate, which I absolutely love. So I love that I can open and close it. Let's say I've got the baby, I got, you know, strollers, I got stuff in my hands. I don't want to grab that. All I have to do is do it for my keys, which is super fun. Now I have a full size 
stroller here. This is a single stroller, it's a Bombarite Indy. I'm gonna show you if it fits with the third row up. So, I don't even have to take the wheels off and it will fit. So I can get a single stroller in there. An umbrella stroller will be fine. If you have a really huge stroller, uh, it might be a tight fit. But as you can see, I got the big wheels, everything here fits perfectly. Now we're on to the double stroller. Will a double stroller fit? I don't know, let's check it out. I have the twin version of the Bumble Right Indy. This is the Bumble Right Indy twin. Not a chance is this gonna fit. With the Chevy Traverse, with the third row up, just like almost all minivans and small SUVs like this, you're not gonna get a double stroller in this rear um, cargo place. It's just not big enough. What you're gonna have to do is put the seats down, which is super easy. Full seats, fold down flat. Now, again, if you need that third row for other kids, you're not gonna be able to do this, but if you don't, plenty of space. Now I, wanna, I do wanna say that sometimes when it's a seven passenger vehicle, you'd have to have like three children back here. I definitely think you could fit three adults. Not big hefty adults, three adults my size would easily fit in this third row comfortably. Overall, the Traverse, it's a great vehicle. You know, like I said, my only problems were with the third row in car seats, and that's a big deal to me because I have three kids in car seats. But if you don't and you have older kids and you want them to sit in the third row, it's perfect. It's roomy. There's a lot of room back here. The, dr the car drives wonderfully, very smooth, not a lot of road noise. I think it looks cool for a minivan. <laughs> I mean, it's still a family vehicle, right? It's not a sports car. Um, but it does have a lot of nice features. And I love the fact that you can get it with captain's chairs or a bench, depending on your family's needs. So that was just kind of my look at the 2013 Chevy Traverse. Don't forget, if you have car seats, no matter what vehicle you're looking at, make sure you can install them in the positions you want to install them in. Because you're probably not going to figure that out otherwise until you get home after you've purchased it. And that's bad news. <laughs> so there you go. That's just my look at this vehicle. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook. And I am Holly Schultz from babygizmo.com. I will talk to you next time. Bye.